Good morning, everybody. This is Mr. Brown. Today we are going to be getting into Onshape, our CAD software we're going to be using, and we're going to be playing with some dice. So I got a little setup right here. So just right here, just so you know, you can see my mouse right here, the dice. This way we got any measurements we need to do, any drawing we need to do. We got it all taken care of right here. So what we're going to be doing and the way it's going to be working is we're going to be having Onshape right here. So Onshape is the website. Uh, you'll follow the links that we give you and everything to log in. Hopefully you should be able to log in by now. If you have any problems with that, let us know. Um, but by the time you're done with this exercise, you're going to have one of these dice all nice and drawn out with a 3D model right here. Uh, so before we get there, though, there's a couple things we just want to take care of. Um, so you can see how you can move it all around in 3D space here. Uh, if I wanted to, I could turn these off just so you can see how pretty it's going to look by the time we're done. So I can zoom in here. I can change the look of it. So you can kind of see how nice this is going to look by the time we're done. Now you'll notice I'm moving around right here. Happens to have a little cube right here. So this is kind of like your view cube, we call it. Um, so you can essentially move your camera around in 3D space. So when you're moving around, you've got X, Y, and Z axes. And you can see as I move around here, it's moving around up there. Now the way I'm moving, I'm using my mouse. I highly, highly, highly recommend using a mouse. It's going to make CAD 3D modeling infinitely easier than if you're trying to use the trackpad on your laptop. If you want to use the trackpad on your laptop, that's fine if you're comfortable with it, but I highly, highly recommend using a mouse. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to have any of these extra buttons on the side or you know, a big fancy gaming mouse. Just your regular left click, your regular right click, and your scroll wheel. So moving around, I've got my left click button. And you'll see when I use my left click, that's to select things. So if I wanted to select all the stuff here, if I click and drag down here, you can see it's all selected. Now that's all highlighted. You'll notice if you click and drag and go to the left, so right there, the first one I did, I started up here in the top left, went down to the bottom right. But if I start over on the other side and I go to the left, you'll see it's a yellow dotted box. What that means is anything touching that box is going to be selected. So if you look at my dice right here, the bottom circle of the two is in there, but the top circle is not. Um, so you see that part, you can't really see it there. But that's going to select anything that that box touches. Whereas if I go left to right and it's a blue square, it's going to be anything that's completely within that square. So there you can see I only have half of it. And there it gets. All right. So that's the left click button. You'll get more practice. It'll make more sense once you're doing stuff. The scroll wheel zooms in and out. So I can zoom in and out up and down on the scroll wheel. If I click the scroll wheel like a button, so if I press that scroll wheel like a button, this is what's called panning. So I'm grabbing my object and moving it around the screen. If I right click on my mouse, this is what's called orbiting. So I'm kind of moving around an object. And you can see my little view cube up in the top moves around with it. It just so happens that that's a cube and that's a cube, but for every project this is going to be a cube up here. You can use these little arrows. I can click on these little arrows to move around also. So move up and down. I can click directly on here on these faces. I can click on these edges to move around. I can click on these little rotation arrows to move it at a little angle if I need to. 
But again, all that stuff can be done with my mouse. And it's a lot easier with the mouse. All right. So let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, students were using Onshape. Onshape is in the browser. So this is what they call a cloud-based, where everything is stored on some other computer somewhere else owned by the Onshape company. So nothing is saved to your computer. Everything is all out of your browser window, whether you're using Chrome or Safari or Edge or Firefox. doesn't matter. You can even do this on your cell phone if you want to. But everything is in our browser. Um, so just to make it a little easier, you don't need to see all this stuff on the bottom of my screen here. You don't need to see all the stuff on the top here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit for us. So now you can see everything a little bit better. Um, if these buttons are still too small for you, if your screen is a little bit smaller or you just need to zoom in or something, let me go back here. Um, you can zoom in on your browser. So right now I'm at 100%. I can zoom in, makes those buttons a little bit bigger. Zoom out, makes those buttons a little bit smaller. Uh, on Chrome, if you're using Chrome on your keyboard, if you hold down Control, so I'm holding down control on my keyboard and using my scroll wheel and I'm putting my mouse up at the top of the screen and I can zoom in and out as I need to. All right, but I think I'm good for 100% right here. I can see everything I need to. And let's start off, I'm going to make a new one. So new dice, sure. All right, so it's loading everything. You can see these three top, front, and right. These are called planes. So if I look at this, I've got my z-axis up and down, my z-axis. I've got my x-axis left and right, my x-axis right here. And if I rotate, I've got my y-axis right here. So this is my x, y, and z-axis. So if, you know, I've got x, y, and z axes right there. So this is kind of my three-dimensional space that I'm going to be working in. All right. So these three planes that it gives me is, you know, this axis and this axis is my flat one there. That's the one that says top. If I have this axis and this axis, that's going to be my right one, and the other one's my front. So moving around in three-dimensional space, it can be a little bit confusing at first, but if you just think of this as like any of your video games, you're probably going to get used to it pretty quickly. Um, so I can move all around as I need to. Now there's a lot of buttons on here. We don't need all of these buttons, especially for our first couple of assignments. So the very first things we're going to do, we're going to be doing a lot with the sketch button. This button right here called extrude. And then, let's see here. After I start a sketch, I've got some shapes here. Your regular rectangle, circle, things like that. And over here, there's stuff called uh, construction and dimension. So there's really only like four or five buttons of this whole thing that we'll use for this first assignment. Right. So we've got an, our new thing set up. We've given it a name. Let's go ahead and first let's take some measurements of our dice. All right. 